Hello. Hello hello. Hope you are feeling well. If there is something bothering you don't hesitate to comment you are not alone. And there is a lot of people willing to help you. I love you all. Now enjoy the video. 24. M. Jokes are overrated. I love video games and drawing. I'm a hard Pokemon fan and tech enthusiast. I'm assuming not Pokemon Go. You gotta play the poker flute to get this guy to move. The love child of Susan Boyle and the penguin. You look like you wake up in the middle of the night wondering if you charged your mobility scooter. He looks like he wakes up in the middle of the night because he has a timer that goes off every two hours that reminds him it's feeding time. You know, because his blood sugar gets low. The only way to explain that haircut is that your gravitational pull is yanking the pubes off of anyone that comes within a 200 meter radius. I would call you a walking stereotype, but it's clear you've never walked a day in your life. You know what's not overrated? Hygiene. You look like you are way into Sonic fanfiction. Being overly affectionate to your air fryer doesn't make you a tech enthusiast. Thank you for explaining your hobbies. By looking at you, I thought you would have been real into health and fitness. I wanted to be a doctor, to help people 3 head injuries later I'm now too stupid to perform any type of surgery, but just stupid enough to pursue a streaming career. Roast me. Pro tip to avoid those head injuries tell your boss to get a higher desk. Or a cushioned headboard. It's not worth it, he didn't even give me the promotion. I'm honestly surprised you don't have OF promotional posts. Bravo. Those head injuries dropped you below that threshold. Something tells me you were too dumb to be a doctor in the beginning. You just use head injuries as the excuse. I've never seen someone need both a helmet and a dental dam. You look like someone I would have a chance with. She's saving herself for Jesus. Hasn't Jesus suffered enough? Trampoline safety is a highly underfunded study. At least, despite those head injuries, you can still tell us it's quarter past the egg on that clock you drew in hospital and hung up on the wall behind you. Tell me a better insult than you look like Maya Khalifa off of Wish. I'm a 20 years, but everyone thinks I'm 16. Honestly surprised that that mods accepted my submission. I love anime, and I'm addicted to video games, but I'm bad at it. I also consider myself an attention, because I never got attention when I was little. I'm also very annoying. If you were an Indian knockoff of Harry Potter, you'd still be on clearance. Arranged marriage worst case scenario. You look like a school book cartoon character with weirdly overdrawn features who was added in and failed attempt to promote diversity. You wish you looked like Maya Khalifa off of Wish. Definitely a face suited for a call center. Sitting here thinking of a roast when the wall behind me caught on fire because of the light refracting through those magnifying glasses hiding your face. Don't worry, you can put out the fire using my tears after eating this roast. 21. I almost died back in November from frostbite because I was caught in a love triangle between my ex and his best friend without knowing, and now I have $2,000 in credit card debt. Roast me. That face when you're only a 7, but your shadow a 10. Am I the only one who wants to know how all of this is connected? Lol I feel like there's so much missing context. How does frostbite tie into a love triangle? Is the $2,000 of credit card debt tied to the love triangle? How do you not know you're in a love triangle? For the roast, you're so broke that you think dollar sign 2k in credit card debt is a lot. Thanks for the life story, Aubrey Plaza off wish. Your shadow looks like it has a better personality than you. That's a sad story, but no I can't send you an Amazon gift card. What? Two people were willing to date you? Yeah, okay. More grease on that face than bacon. Oh no, a whole $2,000 in debt. Roast me, no dad and mommy is she's also addicted to flipping the bean. You look like you chew cigarettes. You're well within my league. Ah yes, the rare self-deprecating roast. When you flip your bean, you use a spatula. Maybe you should get addicted to crest whitening strips. 
your mouth looks like it belongs in a donkey. I bet you have that morning raspy, hack up phlegm, smoker's cough. Call me Mr. Steelio girl. Your nose has its own farad face. If by steel you mean roofy, and then stuff in the trunk of my car then I believe you. You're the type of person who says what's up when you arrive to parties that you don't get invited to. He looks like the kind of guy that would sell bags of oregano to high school kids behind an Arby's. I think you mean Mr. Steel Yo Child. More like Mr. Steel Yo Catalytic Converter. That mustache says Mr. Steel Your Little Girl. I don't think there's a playground in the world that you're allowed at. Do you use Amber Alerts? To tell your friends what car you're driving. 18. 6 foot 213 pounds HS wrestler, give me your best reddit. I enjoy video games, archery, competitive shotgun, and I do wrestling in high school. Congratulations, you hit your peak as an 18 year old no neck high school wrestler. It's all downhill from here cauliflower ears. Easter Island cult, they want their look back. Managed to fit his entire vocabulary into one sentence. Congrats on proving that some humans have more Neanderthal DNA than others. Just cause your priest calls it wrestling it doesn't make his a sport. You got a great future of selling propane and propane accessories ahead of you. 26. Just got out of a state mental hospital. Give me your best shot. They didn't want you either. Based on the ring on your finger, I take it your significant other never heard the saying, never stick your ding dong in crazy. She's escaped. You need some cats. Pokemane falling on hard times? Oh hey I've seen your streams. They're bad. You should feel bad. The person who put a ring on that finger must be crazier than you. Stop asking for a roast to validate the fact you think you should hate yourself and take care of you. Too confident given how I'm the most insecure thing in this planet. Make me cry guys. You look like you were drawn by a high school art student who hasn't mastered proportions yet. Either this is photoshopped or your plastic surgeon needs to be struck off pronto. Imagine the one child policy and you get this. If you used a filter to post on roast me, you're not ready to be here yet. She's fishing for compliments. There is something sinister about putting that much effort into your appearance for a roast pick. Your insides must be emptier than a peanut butter jar thrown into a dog pound. All those fillers, and yet you're so empty. My sister kept roasting me because I can think of a good roast. Maybe you can roast her. 19. If she isn't 38 raising two kids while working as an overpass cashier at a gas station, I will eat her bad cooking. Your brother needs a shave, now where's the sister to roast? Looks like someone that would lecture me about deodorant being a patriarchal concept. Save 50% on shift from wish.com. I don't think even Homer Simpson would touch that blue donut. On this season of 90 Day Fiancé. Dora explores the fridge. I haven't met her father, but I'm pretty sure I know what he looks like. Already did a Ross me, now doing two other angles. One picture was enough. Why did you do this to us? Did someone replace your soap with a stick of butter? When you decide mom's not going to dress you anymore. Which subreddit are you the mod of? Jeffrey Damer vibes. I wish I have the confidence of this guy. Please leave us alone. Thanks for watching you grass eating animals. See you soon. Bye.